Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to uh, receive notifications of my future video posting, uh, please subscribe. Uh, it is now nearly 15 years ago uh, when I was working overseas for a year. And during that period, someone introduced me to the ceramic knife. Uh, that was the only knife that I have during that period. And I use it for everything. And afterward, I discovered that I truly in love with the ceramic knife. Uh, I will tell you the story about uh, one of my uh, students in my cooking class. Uh, I will call her Tamara uh, for the purpose of this video. Uh, I gave her a demonstration about the use of ceramic knife and uh, afterward uh, she started using it and uh, during one summer she brought the ceramic knife with her uh, to visit her father in Florida. Uh, when she came back from Florida, she left her ceramic knife uh, with her father and she wrote to her father and said, uh, would you send the knife back to me? Because she really missed uh, using her ceramic knife. She loved it so much. Uh, her father actually started using her ceramic knife and uh, he told her that, no, I'm not going to send it back to you because I like it so much. I'm going to keep it. Uh, at that time, I have bought a, a batch of ceramic knife uh, for the students in my class. Uh, I just sell it to them at cost. Uh, she asked me whether I have another one that I can sell it to her. Uh, she told me that she really uh, find that her kitchen is not quite the same without that ceramic knife. So she asked me how soon can I get it to her. Uh, so we make arrangement to meet uh, the following day so that she can have her ceramic knife right away. So those of you who are unfamiliar with ceramic knife, you probably wonder what is the big deal about ceramic knife. In my mind, if I only have just one knife, the ceramic knife will be the one that I'm going to own. A ceramic knife is made up of an element known as zirconium, and the compound that constructs the ceramic knife is known as zirconium oxide. In many ways, the reason they call ceramic knife because the process of forming this compound is very much the same as you will form or make ceramic that we are accustomed to. A zirconium oxide is very hot. Uh, if you look at the hardness of diamond to be 100, then uh, the hardest steel knife, uh, the hardness will be around uh, upper 60s. Whereas the uh, ceramic knife or zirconium oxide is the hardness is around 80. Uh, because of this reason, uh, ceramic knives stay sharper much longer in comparison to steel knife. Uh, for this reason, uh, normally you do not need to sharpen your ceramic knife at all. And it will stay sharp for a long time. Uh, for example, I have a ceramic knife that I have used for over four years and it still remains as sharp as ever. Of course, eventually they will get dull, and uh, but uh, they stay sharp for such a long time. It makes it much more convenient to have a ceramic knife in comparison to have a steel knife. Uh, another wonderful benefit about the uh, ceramic knife is that uh, they will not rust, so they are much easier to maintain. Uh, nevertheless, there's one drawback about ceramic knife is they tend to be brittle. So if you drop them on the floor, uh, they will uh, shatter. Or if you use the ceramic knife, like say, to pry open a can, uh, that then they will chip. Uh, this is the old ceramic that I have, and I get it uh, caught in a drawer, and you can see that uh, the tip uh, is chipped. And now ceramic knife uh, comes in two colors. Uh, some of them are in white. That's what is original color. Uh, but now they have actually made the ceramic color look uh, silver, make it look like metallic knife. However, other than the difference in color, they both are actually the same. Uh, quite often you will find that ceramic knife comes in a set uh, with different sizes. Uh, however, I find that the most useful size is a 6 inch ceramic knife. So most of the time I will advise students in my cooking class uh, to just purchase the 6 inch ceramic knife. Uh, almost all ceramic knives comes with a protective uh, sheath which you can uh, put the knife in when you put it in the drawer. Uh, when my friend went uh, first introduced me to the ceramic knife, uh, uh, he told me that uh, how great for ceramic knife uh, to use on meat. And I found that he was absolutely right. A ceramic knife is great for cutting chickens. For example, I, if I take this chicken breast, I just take the ceramic knife, uh, slide through longitudinally, and I can cut the chicken into strips. Uh, I do uh, prep chicken in advance. Uh, I always cut them into slices. 
As you can see in here, the ceramic knife just cut through the chicken into slices as it is cut through butter. Uh, in here, I use my uh, claw technique uh, to grasp the chicken. And so I can cut the chicken or slice the chicken really quickly. Uh, there's a video that you can take a look at uh, that I describe this technique. A ceramic knife does also a great job on beef as it would in chicken. Uh, here, as you can see, I cut the beef uh, into cubes. Uh, after I cook the beef, I use the ceramic knife uh, to cut them up. As you can see, the ceramic knife is probably as good as any stick knife. In my past experience when I use steel knife, I find that uh, cutting through the skin of salmon is very difficult. Uh, any fisherman will know uh, when you try to cut through the scale of a fish using a, a steel knife that is very challenging. Uh, I find that there are no knife better than ceramic knife, for example, to cut through the skin of this uh, salmon. Uh, here I demonstrate how to uh, slice uh, salmon directly through the skin. Uh, so as you can see here, the ceramic knife is really effective in working on uh, different kinds of meat and seafood. And the nice thing about the ceramic knife is that you never have to sharpen it. Uh, when you use a steel knife, quite often after you uh, use it to cut chickens, it becomes dull very quickly. Uh, everybody who uh, uses a steel knife to cut tomato uh, will recognize how difficult it is uh, to cut through the skin of the tomato because the tomato skin just seems to be too slippery for the knife to grasp. Uh, this is not the case uh, with the ceramic knife. As you can see here, the ceramic knife cut through the tomatoes just like you are cutting through butter. Uh, it slides through the skins of tomato uh, without any resistance. I always find it a great pleasure to use the ceramic knife uh, to cut tomatoes. Of course, you can use the ceramic knife uh, to uh, dice onion. Again, uh, the process is very simple and easy. I want to show you another example that a regular steel knife has problem uh, in cutting through, and that is the stem of the broccoli. Uh, I always save the stem of broccoli and I dice them so that I can use them in fried rice or uh, use in other dishes. Uh, before I dice the broccoli, the first thing I will do is that I will uh, cut the broccoli stem into slices. In this case, a steel knife always have some problem in going through uh, the toughness of the broccoli. As you can see here, the ceramic knife has no problem in slice through the broccoli stem. A ceramic knife is not expensive at all. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is a ceramic knife which I use uh, from Amazon for about $13. Uh, however, if you'd like to get a brand name ceramic knife, uh, there's a company known as Coursera. Uh, they actually originated the ceramic knife and they are more expensive uh, for the, about the same knife. They cost $70. Uh, I have used both knives and I do not see a whole lot of difference between them. Uh, the nice thing about the uh, cheaper one is that after you use it for a while, if it gets dull, say uh, four or five years later, uh, you can simply replace it. Uh, in some way, this is uh, all about personal choice uh, because a, a friend of mine, uh, she swears that the Coursera ceramic knife is better than any other ceramic knife. And now I also use a, a steel knife. I have a couple of steel knives that I use regularly. But for uh, several years, I used uh, nothing but the ceramic knife and I was totally happy with that. Uh, but I'm glad that I have now both the steel knife as well as the ceramic knife. Uh, they both serve a slightly uh, different functions. Uh, when I met up with Tamara to give her the ceramic knife, uh, she told me that uh, she really missed that ceramic knife because she find it so much more uh, functional compared to the steel knife that she has. On top of that, she never have to worry about sharpening the ceramic knife. Uh, she says she really liked this aspect of the ceramic knife because when she has the steel knife, sometimes she feels like that she needs to sharpen the knife almost every week. And sometimes it gets so dull, she feels like that she are not able to uh, cut through anything. Uh, I strongly recommend you to look into the possibility of getting a ceramic knife. It will add a great deal uh, to your uh, repertoire of uh, prepping. Again, like I said before, if I'm going to have one knife, uh, I will have a ceramic knife. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like icon below because that will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings. I'll see you next time.